You are Sarah Young, and I met you how? You met me at Merrill Hurst. Um, you met me through Sarah? No. We were sort of Another in the same Sarah. classes. I could have called you Arashi. Oh, yeah. Well, I go by that because there's like 50,000 million Sarahs. So. A lot of Sarahs. Mm -hmm. um, happiest kid friendly memory. <laughs> happiest kid friendly memory. 14. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I was, you know, six months old. I got a big uh, plastic U for Christmas that, like, if you turned on one side, you could use as a slide, and if you turned on the other side, you could lay in it. Do you actually remember that? I do. That's um, really awesome. I remember getting the U. Is, um, that, is that the best present you ever received in no, your life? No, it just was, like, you know, something you, you were really excited about as a kid, and it's strange, and it's foreign, and it was really cool. That so is I do. Cool. I don't know. I like the plastic U. Um, I don't, you know, I really, like... I don't have memories in terms of like ranking top five, top ten, whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's really hard question to answer. Some, yeah, okay. Some people some people do. I um, think those people only have like five memories. They only have them. five memories. <laughs> you yeah, have five good ones. Abundance of happy memories. That's awesome. So the next question is um, to tell me about your current uh, photo project. Okay, um, I don't know where I found it, but I think I read in the paper about somebody who is trying to take a self-portrait every day for a year, and I was like, oh, that's really cool, and, and then, like, I had thought about it for two days or something like that, I'm like, why don't I just do that, you know, I mean, that's, why, why not? So, I uh, got on Flickr just to join this group called 365 mm -hmm. Days, and uh, it was just a group of people who were taking a self-portrait every day for a year, and it's just been really, really fun, and I think my challenge is to um, make every picture look different. So, um, you know, if one's mm -hmm. using a certain style of something, then the next doesn't, and except that, and I've already figured out what my own personal biases are as an artist, which mm -hmm. is really, really good. I'm like, wow, I always, you know, fill the frame like five sixths of the way with yeah. one person's face or something yeah, like that. Yeah, like I, like I, like I've figured out that for some reason I always have lines, uh, slicing my pictures in thirds. Yeah. And I don't know why I do it, but well, I like that. Actually, but there, um, there's something to the, uh, there's something called the rule what, of thirds. Like the golden rule. I guess it's really intense there's, in my brain. Yeah. Um. I mean, that's why some of the ca some cameras will give you a grid of nine, yeah. you know, in their framing or something, but some people just naturally do that, so it's supposed to be a good thing. So, um, also, this isn't your, like, the first time you've ever picked up a camera in life. You do have some photography background, is that right? Yes, I do. I, um, I learned a little bit of darkroom stuff in, um, in high school. I took a, mm -hmm. a class, and then I also, but then again, like, you take a class and you get really into it, and then you, um, then you forget about it and you start doing other things. And then I took another class at Merlehurst, and you know, same thing. Like it was all super cool and wonderful for a while, and then you know, I just dropped it. And the point about the whole taking a self-portrait every day for a year mm -hmm. is um, just to keep me from putting my camera down, you know, yeah. and forgetting it. Because you know, I got like. This is my, like, go anywhere, like, little, you know, point and shoot or whatever, but I got a, like, a nicer one. I got a Canon Rebel digital SLR, the top end of the amateurs, and, uh, and I found, like, I had it for a year, and I probably took it out for 24 mm -hmm. shoots or something mm -hmm. like that, but, like, there's just a whole difference between that and taking it out every day and taking, you know, 40, 60, 90 pictures and liking two of them or something like that. So I have, a, I have a question I've been thinking about when I've been looking at your photos, um, and that is, are you inspired by, oh, I'm going to forget her name now, uh, the, she does the film stills. Um, untitled film stills. Untitled films. Cindy Sherman. Yes. I really, I love Cindy Sherman. Because I, I thought of Cindy Sherman when I, saw, when I saw your more recent pictures. Which ones? Um, the ones before uh, you went in the the very recent operation ones, the ones sort of just right before that. Yeah, I actually I feel like I want to do stuff that's like Cindy Sherman stuff, but mm -hmm. I haven't been able to do anything I really want. I want to get like I want to go to a thrift store and get a uh, 
Well, it's going to keep you as the focus subject, which... You have to tell, yeah. I know. I have to, like, I don't know, almost <laughs> find something else. To, oh, okay. That's weird. Um, but it's like I also, um, can't, uh, like, I can't do it the way she did it because her stuff looks, like, so Hitchcock-esque. Yeah, you know? right. It's just, there's a whole different gestalt because I, I imagined one picture where I'm, like, you know, in one of those, like, 1950s mm -hmm. wigs with, like, a tweed suit, like, well, you know, looking at an office building, like, one, with one of those vintage phones in my hand. Well, well we're something. younger, so maybe it's more Lynchian. <laughs> maybe. Because I was definitely thinking about Lynch in your, um, in your picture with the headlights. Um, oh. There's one where you're in the headlights. That was I, my, I, like, homage to OK Computer. So. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I was thinking Lynch because of the dark and the light. Yeah. It reminded me of that. And, um, let's see. One... Oh, crap. One phone. One... Do you want to answer it on camera? Uh, no, I want to... Okay. We'll just let it go. Okay. Uh, one, one final question, then. And that question is... Um, hmm, what, what question would you ask yourself if you were on camera? <laughs> That's really lame. I would ask me, like, why I've been watching so many zombie movies lately. Why, why have you been watching so many zombie movies lately? Well, like, the easy answer to that is, um, that my, uh, my brother had recently bought 28 Days Later and 28 Weeks Later, but that's the easy answer. Like, god damn it! Whoa, oh, that sorry. sounds scary. We'll have to bleep that out. No. But, um, uh, I like, I've been liking zombie movies recently because, uh, and I've been thinking about this on the way in the car, mm -hmm. but, um, because, uh, it's like every movie genre has a hero, you know, mm -hmm. and it's like uh, the slasher movies, it's the virgin, and uh, other movies, it's like the scientist right. who knew about it the entire time, and the other movies, it's about, um, it's about, uh, I don't know, it's just, it, it's about, like, but one particular person, but the zombie, zombie movies, movies are just, they're just eating people, right? Yeah, but the hero in the zombie movies, um, it's like, when you think about on the street, if, uh, if, you know, your neighbor was suddenly sick and, uh, you know, you wouldn't know, you know, there's different type of personalities who would handle that. And one would, um, you know, go over and give your neighbor, you know, uh, medicine or something mm -hmm. like that. And another person would, like, ignore your neighbor. Another person doesn't even know the name of their neighbors, etc. Uh -huh. It's like, who survives in the zombie movies? It's like the old man who decided to get, like, <laughs> a house in the country because he doesn't like people. He it's doesn't want to um, be around people. It's the, uh, what are they called? It's, like, antisocial. Like, you know, because there's that point right, like the Unabomber would do really well. Yeah, exactly. Like, so it's just like, well, no, it's like, it's yeah. like the people who recluse. survive. that's what I was thinking. The recluse or the people who are really skeptical about other people or something. So do you think that the zombie movies are really popular right now because of that? Because maybe those traits are um, something that young people want to have? I don't know. I think it's just, I think it's just interesting because, um, mm -hmm. because it's that... I think a lot of zombie movies have that moment where you don't know that it's a zombie yet, you know, and it's just like it's who mm -hmm. survives that point, you know, it, 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 you know, later on, like, you know, you can go like anybody who like, you know, you don't know who's not speaking anything uh -huh. to you, runs up to you and wants to bite you, that's a zombie, but, you know, before you know that's happening, it's like, who are the people that survives that, you know, and it's right. like, it's not the nice typical person, it's not the virgin, it's not... You know, the scientist, the scientist, you know, would want to get close and get a sample or something like that. You know, it's like, it's like the recluse, you know, it's the recluse, it's the, recluse the antisocial, the person that will like bash your head in before they know you're a zombie. I, I thought of one secret actual last question beyond that and, okay. and you don't have to, sorry, timer, you can tell me, um, oh, you don't have any time. Oh, oh well, we won't talk about it. Oh.